Hey everybody, I am Sean Anderson. I am currently the chair of the Environmental Science and Resource Management Program at CSUCI. And uh, my quick background, my quick history with conservation biology uh, is I, I was born and raised in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, uh, went to school, went to undergraduate at UC Santa Barbara. Uh, initially not wanting to be a scientist. I thought scientists were very boring, dispassionate, not, not super interesting folks. Um, long story short, I ended up uh, getting really interested in, uh, in science, particularly in um, ecology natural history, things of that nature, and uh, started doing a lot of underwater research. So much of my, uh, I worked in labs for much of my time at UCSB, uh, mostly on things related to oil spills and uh, fish ecology and, and the, the um, natural history of the California coast. I uh, then uh, ran a lab for a while uh, at UCSB. Uh, before going to uh, Antarctica for a while and then uh, diving into the ice caps and then um, uh, went to grad school at UCLA where I also studied underwater ecosystems, uh, mostly around Catalina Island. While there, I did sort of a kind of a second PhD on salt marsh restoration at Magoo Lagoon in Ventura County. Um, uh, from there, I went up to uh, Stanford University for several years uh, to... Um, do ecological restoration, in this case, not underwater, mostly in, in um, coastal ecosystems, so grasslands, oak woodlands, um, coastal wetlands, things of that nature, and uh, was there for several years, um, and then uh, left Stanford to come down here and, and help start our university, and uh, so I've been here forever. I'm an ancient fossil, <laughs> um, and here I mostly work in the coastal zone. So I do a lot of conservation related to, um, uh, well, a lot of work based on natural history, but also based on assessing what problems are and looking at possible solutions. So what are some policy tools? What are some management approaches we can take to improve the situation, to make populations more abundant, make these areas more verdant, more, more sustainable, more well-functioning? So, uh, so I currently work in California, in Louisiana, uh, the Pacific, and then on various projects that are kind of not in any one particular area, things related to, for example, seafood sustainability and things of that nature. So uh, I love conservation biology. I would consider myself a conservation biologist and uh, I'm super stoked to be able to talk to you guys about conservation biology. See you guys soon.